Hello there, my name is Ismos and today let's look at, at another exciting new feature coming up in Blender 2.82 and that is custom bevel profiles. So if you have never used bevels or you don't really know what bevel profiles are, you might find this feature a bit redundant as it may not be very clear what are to use it for. But so let's look at some ways you can use custom bevel profiles just to just so that you can also get excited as other people are. If you have a cube or any object, you can select any edge on that and go to the tools on your left, find uh, the bevel tool. And now you can select an edge, slide it, and now you see uh, this uh, menu here. Most of the features that are here are, are the same features that we had in the previous uh, version, but are with a few extra ones. Also a new feature under here uh, that says custom profile. So if you click on that, you'll get this stuff here uh, that lets you edit the profile or shape of your your bevel and you can look at uh, how this looks it's the same uh, shape as uh, this curve if we add a curve here I might see that uh, there is nothing happening here because there are no edges uh, to kind of mimic uh, the curve you're creating here so we need to increase uh, the number of what edges here or segments uh, to kind of get uh, the shape the same shape so if I do another shape here another shape here you can see what we are getting this also comes with a few presets so if i go into the presets here you can see what we have our steps support loops uh, whatever this is conis molding uh, and uh, uh, this usually works best if you have more resolution and you can see the more resolution you have the better uh, this uh, looks uh, let's also look at uh, what is this as well so you might be wondering where am I going to use uh, something like this? Uh, so let me show you how you can use this. This this is going to be very useful if you are creating uh, ROMs, uh, maybe you are doing an HVs render. Uh, yeah, so this is our ROM. Maybe let me go to rendered mode. Let me give it a slight material, uh, green material here. So if this is our ROM and we wanted to, to create a baseboard here, uh, we can maybe just add a loop here for our baseboard select uh, that uh, loop shift d to duplicate it p and uh, we have our baseboard let me also push it out of the wall just a bit using alt s something like that but i want uh, to have an even offset so uh, so that we have this straight uh, so, so this is our baseboard uh, we, we do have a really strong uh, thickness so i'm just going to reduce that to something like that and then apply this solidify modifier so now if we wanted, okay, you can see that uh, this is just plain and uh, not uh, that interesting. Let me change its color, this material just a bit, maybe give it a darker material. Yeah, so let's assume that this is our baseboard, but uh, it doesn't have, it doesn't have that details, that detail you would see on uh, most baseboards. So uh, what you can do is now select the edge loop, uh, this edge loop, and uh, go to our uh, bevel bevel that edge I uh, will get uh, the bevel settings and uh, turn on custom profiles uh, you can see uh, if you choose any preset you want choose any preset you want you can even start creating your own uh, profile uh, so again you need to have enough segments for this and you can see how uh, this is starts this is started to look so let me just go to wireframe here uh, so that I can see the profile more clearly uh, let's just instead of creating our own profile let's just uh, select uh, this uh, conais molding uh, because i think it looks far better than what i can make here uh, so i can even increase the increase the offset basically it's the same settings you had before but now plus this custom profile and you can see how this adds detail to the to our to our baseboard and see how the edges the corners are being done uh, previously you had to do a lot of work to get uh, to this here now is uh, simply a few clicks and now if we just turn on uh, auto smooth uh, you can see what we uh, have I uh, just increase the angle here to about 40 now just look at how easily you can get that detail without a lot of work and uh, you can also use this to create an an image frame or a frame a picture frame so let's say you have this here and uh, i'll just extrude this down 
and delete uh, these faces then add a solidify modifier again push this out just a bit maybe this is a bit too thick something like that apply the solidify modifier then you can select this edge and uh, add your bevel increase the segments then choose a custom profile from the preset and that was under i don't know five seconds or ten seconds maybe a bit more but uh, you are, you have your picture frame if you want you can also do it on this side add your bevel and uh, let's this time choose a different uh, profile i guess this is okay too you can see how easily you can create uh, things uh, like that then you would add your image in here so let me just do that i'll just add an extra detail here push this inside and then shift d and ask help i think we should do it extrude then you just you have your picture frame so this would have a different material so maybe let's do that just do a projection from view to get my nice picture you can see that was very quick so you can you can see how bevel profiles are can be very useful uh, in creating things like this and adding more details uh, so yeah i guess you can even use this to do a window frame uh, so there is also that so that's it for bevel profiles uh, thank you for watching see you in the next video